السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم ويلكم باك تو ذا شانل يال اي هوب يو جايز ار دوينج ويل سو توداي اي ام جست ميكينج ا كويك فيديو ام ام جست تراين تو ام جست تراين ا نيو ثينج هير وير ايم ايم غونا بوست ام مور اوفتن ان شاء الله سنيبتس اوف ليتل شورت فيديوز ان شاء الله شيرينج انترستينج ثينجز اي فايند اباوت اسلام اند وات ايفر ذات اي ليرنت اند وات ايفر ذات اي فاوند انترستينج اباوت Islam and whatever that I'm studying at the moment. So yeah, just as a just as a introduction. So I'm currently studying fiqh and usul, um, primarily in the Shafi'i school. So uh, at the same time, we have to take other modules as well. We have to study hadith, aqida, Arabic, so on and so forth. So in this course of study, like I find things that are very interesting. And I figured I'll make like a small snippets of videos in which I I'll share it, these nuggets of uh, or gems with you guys, inshallah. Now today I just want to share something about istiqama, something interesting about the word istiqama. Like I'm sure a lot of us have heard of this word istiqama. Okay, we translate it into consistency, so on, so for uniformity. Now the interesting thing about the Arabic language is that it has emotion. in in the word itself let me explain for example the word istiqama has the letter seen inside of it okay the letter seen denotes requesting for something okay in the arabic language we call it talab which means to request for something istiqama now we have the word iqama we have the word iqama which means to establish something okay and then we have the word istiqama okay which means consistency to 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 uh to request Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for consistency okay and it, it has the letter seen in the word itself it's interesting because it teaches us something that istiqama is only attainable when you're constantly seeking consistency from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it shifts your mind mind blown like a lot of times people people think that uniformity or consistency it's a result of your own efforts like you think that okay i have a consistent life i'm doing work alhamdulillah okay everything's getting done work is getting done videos are being made so on and so forth it's because of me right i'm good in time management i'm good in focusing uh, i can manage a lot of stress so on and so forth no that's the wrong mindset when it comes to consistency the word istiqama teaches us that the strength comes from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the strength of being able to be consistent comes from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and it's denoted by the seen the letter seen in the word istiqama okay that's the difference between iqama and istiqama iqama means to establish something istiqama means to constantly request request from who request from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right request from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to constantly give us strength to remain consistent okay So so by learning the word subhanallah like by learning the word istiqama it shifts your mindset right instead of thinking that oh it's all me you're like no it's all Allah like he's giving you this gift of being consistent so you should use it to you should use it to 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 the fullest ability you should use it wisely right because you might not get this gift anymore in the future we, we'll never know right So the word it's very interesting like the word istiqama and other words uh have similar meanings as well like the word istighfar istighfar like to ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the scene here the letter scene denotes requesting so you're constantly requesting forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right istighfar and it gives you a different pers- perception or perspective of of how you should be asking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's not like something oh i've sinned so i i'm going to later on i'm going to pray and ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no it doesn't work like that istighfar is something you should constantly be doing so whether you fall into sin or not you should be doing istighfar right and this 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 mindset or this beauty in the meaning is encapsulated in the word istighfar in the scene itself because the letter scene denotes talab requesting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something from this word uh, there are other words as well istikhara istikhara okay it's not 
it's not just to pray for, for requesting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for a dream and so on and so forth. No. Istikhara from the word khayr. Istikhara. It is to constantly request Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for goodness. Right? Constantly requesting, requesting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for goodness. So it sets our mindset, teaches us that goodness comes from Allah and we need to be constantly seeking for goodness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Goodness is not just, oh, I'm a good person, so every, every goodness comes from me. Like, hey, I'm polite, I'm respectful. Yeah, yeah, I'm the one. I'm the G, man. No, no. That blessing, that gift of being good, being respectful, being polite, being kind, passionate, so on and so forth, that gift comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? Istighfar, istikhara, istiqama, so on and so forth. So, so it's very beautiful. Like, it's beautiful. The scene here, the letter seen denotes something to be talab, to, to be constantly requesting or to be dependent on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? And the beautiful thing here is, I'll end with this. What is the religion that we're following as Muslims? Islam. It, there's the letter seen as well. And Islam means submission, constant dependence on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like, what? Mind blow. <laughs> The scene here, the letter scene is present in the word Islam as well, right? The letter scene here is present. And one of the meanings of the letter scene is talab, to request or to be constantly dependent on something. And Islam teaches us to be constantly dependent on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to submit our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to always be uh, dependent and reliant on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's so beautiful. I mean, everything's so beautifully crafted even the language itself subhanallah so yeah that's just a, a small thing that uh, I, ju I just learned currently reading a book on istikama as well um, so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be making a video on it inshallah um yeah but i'm just i just i just can't wait so i just want to share this with, with you guys inshallah so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys got something from the video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe i'll see you on the next one within a couple of days, inshallah. See you next time. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.